Hello, and welcome to this TempoZone tutorial, where we will be discussing the push button navigation when using different UC8 software versions. The SW3 push button, located on the UC8, allows the user to witness operating conditions, as well as make functional adjustment to control parameters. UC8 controllers of all software versions identify unit conditions with single presses of the UC8 push button. These include suction line pressure, evaporating temperature, suction line temperature, suction superheat, discharge line pressure, condensing temperature, discharge line temperature, discharge superheat, de-ice temperature, unit capacity, electronic expansion valve one position, electronic expansion valve two position, and Modbus address. The UC8 will return to normal operation after 15 seconds. The UC8 controller contains a menu of adjustable parameters available to technicians. Some of these include fan speed adjustment, Modbus addressing, and compressor selection. Function of the special modes can be found in the UC8 operation manual. Access to special modes using the SW3 push button is different depending on which version of the UC8 software you encounter. Software version can be seen on the sticker containing the UC8 part number. However, the more accurate way of checking software version is to reset the power and watch the UC8 initialization procedure. First displayed will be UC8, followed by the version number. Other helpful information, such as the refrigerant type, is also displayed on initialization. Further information regarding initialization can be referred to in the UC8 operation manual. To access special modes, the compressor cannot be operational. To stop the compressor, or prevent the thermostat signal starting the compressor when navigating special modes, remove the remote on-off terminal. Press and hold the SW3 push button. A special mode will flash three times before changing to the preceding mode. Release the push button when the desired mode is reached. The UC8 will then enter the setting for the selected special mode. Single taps of the push button will adjust the desired setting of the special mode. To save changes, do not touch anything. After 15 seconds, the UC8 will save the changes and return to the main menu. Reinstate the remote on-off terminal when finished. Version 6 to version 6.13 has four levels of special mode. First, remove the remote on-off terminal. Level 1 can be accessed by pressing and holding the SW3 push button until reaching the desired special mode. Release the push button and the UC8 will enter the special mode settings. Single taps allow adjustments to be made. Adjustments are saved by not touching the SW3 push button for 15 seconds. The UC8 will then return to the main menu. If the special mode that you wish to adjust is on page two, three, or four, press the SW3 push button and hold it down until the UC8 displays the number two. Further navigation now continues with single taps of the push button. Tap until the desired mode or menu page is found and press nothing. The UC8 will now enter the special mode or the next menu level and allow for single tap adjustments to settings. Releasing the push button and waiting to return to the main menu will save the change setting.
To enter the special modes for version 6.1.4 and preceding current software versions, a four page menu is used. First, remove the remote on off terminal. Press and hold the SW3 push button for two seconds until the UC8 displays zero and release. Use short presses to select the desired menu page. Press and hold for selection of desired menu page. Use short presses to select the desired special mode, then press and hold to enter. Use short taps to adjust the setting. Then press and hold to enter and save. The UC8 will now return to normal operation with the setting saved. For further information to help your field diagnosis, be sure to download the latest version 8 of the TempoZone Service Training Manual from tempozone.com or ask for a hard copy at your local branch. Be sure to subscribe to the TempoZone YouTube channel for training and tutorial videos, product updates and much more.